in New Jersey in the 1930s, there was a radio station. Now this story is gonna be about mind controlling the public. <laughs> How easy that is. If you haven't noticed, it's pretty easy. <laughs> if you've been alive from 2020 till now, you'll also realize it's pretty easy to mind control the public. If you happen to be alive, because a lot of the people who don't know anything about mind control and brainwashing and behavior manipulation, a lot of them aren't with us today because mind control can make you do absolutely anything. And I'll give you a good quote. In, 1960, in the 1960s, there was an investigation by the US Congress into allegations of some very severe mind control experiments being done within the United States on unwilling participants. So there was a congressional hearing and there was a CIA representative <clears throat> at the hearing. And the investigator said, how far have you got, you meaning the CIA, how far have you got in regards to mind controlling other humans and having been successful in that realm? And the CIA representative said, well, given enough time, we could have a person kill their own parents and eat them in a stew. <laughs> so there should come as no surprise about what happened from 2020 onward in regards to people lining up and volunteering to stew themselves because that's the power of mind control and it hacks a very loving part of our neurology. Mind control focuses in our natural design focuses in on how we're hardwired and hijacks that hardwiring and our hardwiring is to make us seek safety and all the people who are masters of mind control have to do is sort of paint a target like if you're working in the military and you're you know you're working with laser guided missiles Painting the target just means putting the laser on the target you want the missile to hit. And the missile will just go right to the target, right, right to where the laser is being put. Well, the people who rule us know how to put this, the, the target on the word safety. And then they move the word safety over things that aren't safe. And because we're hardwired to seek safety, we run after the safety and we can run right off a cliff. We can close our own businesses. We can wait in line for something, a medical experiment that isn't going to do us any good. And the reason there's the rich, super rich and the super poor is because the super rich know how to manipulate this psychology, this hard wiring that's natural in all humans. But if we go back to the example, this the radio show, and it was in New Jersey in the 1930s. It was called War of the Worlds. And it was the War of the Worlds radio show. That's what it's called now. And what they did, and it was not an accident. It was an experiment. It wasn't for entertainment, it wasn't for laughs, it wasn't for chuckles, it wasn't a misunderstanding of the science. It was a weaponization of the known science. The only science that's truly settled is the science of psychological manipulation. And the people who rule you like to experiment quite a bit with psychological manipulation to see what works and what doesn't work. So this War of the Worlds broadcast had a actor who pretended to be the president of the United States at the time. And the actor sounded exactly like the president of the US at the time. So it was an impersonator. It was just on radio, didn't have to look like the president. It was just, this was a radio broadcast. And the radio broadcast announced that aliens had invaded the US. And this wasn't a national broadcast, it was limited. So it was limited to 
certain areas in upper state New York and maybe some other areas around the U.S., but it wasn't all over the U.S., and thank God it wasn't. Because what they found is that when you get sick, all you have to do is get someone that people trust. Somebody, an authority figure, a perceived authority figure, because no one has true authority over you unless you want to give your own authority away. So you get a perceived authority figure you trust, like the president, and then the radio station had built the trust over decades. So you have two trusted sources, and then those two trusted sources came together and said there was an alien invasion. And people were out in the streets, there was pitchforks, people were loading their guns, they're running around the streets telling their neighbors, everybody's barricading their doors, etc., etc., etc. So we've had the same thing happen from 2024, and we've had the same thing happen many other times in our living history and many times before we were born. And the average person really knows nothing about how they can be psychologically manipulated and behavior modified to be, believe lies is truth. And it's so, so easy, so easy. So if you're looking to take a crash course on this subject and also become a certified coach to work with people to deprogram them and insert programs that better their lives instead of them downloading their programs from lamestream media sources that make their lives worse because of course living out lies is truth it's going to make your life very bad i mean if you believe poison will make you healthy that's a lie you can try it but the way the universe works, lies always bring pain if you try to integrate them into your life. So you can believe poison will make you healthy, but if you try and act it out, you get pain because the universe trying to alert you you're living a lie. So if any of this interests you, email me personally at info at jchristoff.com. I get you on my email list. I can tell you about some of my programs and there's one coming up January 14th it launches it only launches twice a year and there's a limited amount of seats if you'd like to get into that you can ask me any questions you wish and you can actually start a new job and a new side hustle and a better life this is Jason Kristoff signing off from Latvia have a great day